eight years ago when I went to the eye doctor and they did the test. I was looking at the eye chart with, through my left eye. I couldn't read the eye chart. I mean, it was blurry. I'll never forget getting the phone call and he, he said, you know, Debbie, I just got out of my eye appointment and I was, there's something wrong. And they determined that I had macular, dry mac degeneration. I said, well, let's talk about it. And we knew right then and there we had a problem that we were gonna have to address. Dry macular degeneration is a degeneration of the, the cells uh, behind the retina of the eye. What it means is that eventually um, my eyesight would be, uh, I wouldn't have any eyesight. I mean, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to see clearly. I wouldn't be able to read. I wouldn't be able to drive. I wouldn't be able to see a golf ball. When we got the diagnosis, I, I was shocked and stunned because Roy had gone for checkups every, regularly. I felt like I was always healthy and uh, I didn't think that anything like this could ever happen. So from the beginning, from eight years ago till now, they've always said to me, there's nothing that can cure a mac dry macular degeneration. There's nothing that can stop it, okay? Sure, they can stop wet macular degeneration, but dry macular degeneration, they didn't have an answer. They didn't have a clue. And I kept, you know, saying that, you know what? Something's gonna happen. I really believe that something's gonna happen, and it did. And it happened through the clinical trial. I was nervous because we're always afraid, uh, you know, when we really don't know what the situation is or if is it going to get worse, is he going to get better, could he go blind? But he was so courageous and uh, I really admired him for that and, you know, we just went for it. I was not ready to give in to say I was going to be blind. I was not ready to give in and say, you know what, I'm going to have to change my entire lifestyle. What I was ready to do was become a pioneer. eight years I've been saying Dr. Rosen I want to participate I want to be the first and his, his his comments were you really want to be first I said yeah I really do I want to be the pioneer I want to be the one that you know is is able to participate in it and if if it doesn't help me but it at least stabilizes my condition maybe I can help others in the future I did kiss my husband goodbye when he was going into surgery and he was very brave and I just admired him so much because I don't know that I would have been that brave and he was just so happy to have that opportunity to help himself and help others. helping me improve my quality of life and it's helping me to improve the things that I want to do in the future and you know what the, I think the last thing I want to do is I want to be able to drive again long distances and you know I, I think I, I won the, the battle of the golf I think that's that's a win I think that uh, you know reading now can, I, I can I can read better it's been amazing this whole experience has been amazing because the doctors were, have been wonderful, they've been so accommodating, they truly care. I'm so happy that they gave me an opportunity to participate in this clinical trial. I'm very hopeful and happy uh, and looking forward to the future. My hopes for the future are, and I always say this to myself every day when I get up and I pray about this, I want, I want, I'd like to have my vision return to 2020. It's a goal that I will always uh, strive for and something that I believe that uh, it will be, will happen. With the science that we have, with the technology that we have, with research that we have, I felt very confident that somebody would be able to improve the, the, my, my stem cell uh, surgery and be able to um, improve dry macular degeneration. <music>